Hi, once again, uh, thank you for showing up and seeing this video. Uh, my name is Miguel Vasquez, and I'm a reverse mortgage specialist. And uh, a little bit about myself, I've been doing reverse mortgages probably for 15 years now. And what the topic we're going to speak about today is probably two of the themes that are most misunderstood with uh, reverse mortgages. One is that the bank is going to keep my house. And second, that there's nothing left to leave my children or my heirs if I get a reverse mortgage. Those are the two probably things that recur over and over and uh, they're misconceptions and I'm gonna go ahead and address them right now. And then uh, at the end, if you have any questions, you can reach out to me, but here we go. Okay, so first of all, a uh, reverse mortgage is not out to keep your home. I, I hear this a lot. Uh, they, they, you know, the reverse mortgage wants to take my house away or why are they giving me such a little money uh, when my house is worth? So number one, the reverse mortgage doesn't want your house. They don't want to keep your house. And so that's not what the program is designed for, okay? When you have a regular loan on your house, you have a loan on there and typically you make payments on that house regularly, right? Each month you make payments on the house. Well, that lender, that bank who lend you that money has a lien on the title of your property. So with the reverse mortgage, it's the exact same thing. The reverse mortgage is a lender and all they're doing is letting you borrow money and putting a lien on your property's title. That's it. That doesn't mean they own the property. That doesn't mean that uh, they want to take it away from you. They don't. It's a reverse mortgage loan is the same thing as a regular type of loan, a 30-year loan, a 20-year loan, a 15-year loan. So it's, a, it's exactly the same thing. It's a loan. Okay. The only difference though with uh, the reverse mortgage is you're not required to make monthly payments on the reverse mortgage. We're on the traditional type of mortgage. You would make interest payments and a little bit of principal on your monthly payment month after month. So that's the difference between the reverse mortgage and the regular type of uh, mortgage that on the reverse mortgage you're not required to make the payments um, you still are required to make your taxes uh, property taxes and your fire insurance those you do have to uh, still make um, the other thing that you also have to make sure that you do is you have to keep your property up. You can't just let it uh, dwindle uh, and, and you have to at least keep it up to a minimum, okay? Um, so that's one thing, okay? So uh, on a regular mortgage, if you were to sell the property or leave it to your heirs and they were to sell the property, um, they would sell the property, get the money that from the sale, from that money of the sale, they would pay the balance that's owed on, on the home. And then they would just uh, walk away with the, the remaining proceeds. That's what would happen on the regular mortgage. Well, on a reverse mortgage, it's something very similar. If you were to pass away, or if you were to sell the home, or your heirs were to sell the homes, they would put the property up for sale, get the proceeds from the sale, and then pay off the reverse mortgage balance. And then your heirs or your kids or whoever you leave your house to would keep the remaining proceeds of the sale. So that's uh, very similar. The one advantage of leaving your property to your children or an heir or a friend or whoever after you pass away, 
is that they actually don't have to make any payments on that loan because it's a reverse mortgage loan. Uh, they, the reverse mortgage gives your children or your heirs six months to go ahead and put the property up for sale or and after they sell it they get the proceeds and then they pay off the reverse mortgage uh, balance. Now the, the reverse mortgage gives them six months to do that. So in six months they don't have to make any payments. Now if they can't sell the property in six months your heirs or kids can request an additional six months extension and the reverse mortgage uh, company would grant it. And so now you would have a total of 12 months without making any mortgage payments or your children having to make any mortgage payments. Uh, and then they would have enough time to either sell the property or refinance it to a new loan and then pay off the reverse mortgage balance, okay? So that's one thing. The reverse mortgage is uh, not out to keep your house, okay? Uh, second thing, now let's talk about the other concern that uh, many homeowners who want to do a reverse mortgage, their concern is like, well, if I do a reverse mortgage, I'm not going to leave that much. Uh, there's not going to be much left over for my children uh, for them to inherit. Okay, so let's talk about uh, how that plays out. So let's imagine that you have a house that's worth six hundred thousand. Your property is valued at six hundred thousand, and then you you owe two hundred thousand. So you owe two hundred thousand to the the bank, and then your house is worth six hundred thousand. Okay. Now let's say that you get into the reverse mortgage. The reverse mortgage says, okay, you know what? We'll give you 200,000 to pay off your existing mortgage balance that you have with your regular loan. We'll, we'll lend you 200,000. You can pay that off. And now you're in the reverse mortgage program. Now you don't have to make any more payments on that. Okay, so that might be a, uh, a savings, uh, or, or not coming out of pocket for not having to send the, the monthly payment of $1,500, which is a lot of money for someone who's retired, who's only on social security or a pension. The, the $1,500 that they don't have to send in because now they're in the reverse mortgage makes a big difference in terms of their lifestyle, in terms of uh, having the ability to pay their bills, uh, being less stressed out, and at the end of the day, living more comfortably towards the end of your life. Okay, so that's a huge advantage. Anyhow, um, so let's say that you're in the reverse mortgage and they, they lend you the 200,000, you paid off your regular mortgage. Uh, now you owe the reverse mortgage 200,000. Your property is worth 600,000, right? 10 years pass by, you haven't made any payments to the reverse mortgage. Uh, now, this is not a free loan. The reverse mortgage is not a free loan. They're lending you, they lend you 200,000 for this example. Each month, they're gonna be charging you interest rate on that 200,000 that they let you borrow. So let's imagine that your each month the payment was supposed to be uh, in interest a thousand dollars. So each month that would pass by, you owe a thousand dollars more. So it'd be so after the first month you owe two thousand one hundred, and then the second month you owe two thousand two two hundred thousand two hundred. <laughs> Sorry, two hundred and two thousand. And then the third month, you owe 203000 okay? So let's say that after 10 years, you haven't made any payments. Now you owe the reverse mortgage balance, or the reverse mortgage balance has increased from 200000 to 300000 
Okay, that's a lot of money that it's gone up, the balance. Okay, so now you owe the reverse mortgage a total of 300000 That's pretty scary for a lot of people. But remember, you haven't made any payments on them. Now, if you wanted to make payments, you could make payments so that the balance doesn't go up as quickly. Um, but you have that option. You could or, or you could not if, if you don't want to. It's up to you. Anyhow, uh, a lot of people get alarmed because th they're like, wow, it went up 100000 so now I owe the reverse mortgage 300000 after 10 years. But let's also remember that 10 years is a long time. And so if your property, when you first got the reverse mortgage 10 years ago, was valued at 600000 10 years later, it's probably 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 appreciated uh, a significant amount. Instead of it being worth six hundred thousand, ten years later, now it's probably worth seven fifty, seven hundred fifty thousand, eight hundred thousand. Okay, so now yeah, your balance went up because you haven't made any payments on the reverse mortgage. But guess what? Your value, the value of your property has also gone up too. So you really haven't lost any equity there, okay? What happens, let's say that you pass away um, and then you leave the, your property after 10 years to your children, your heirs. And remember, now the property is worth 700,000. 700, uh, you owe 300. So let's say they, they inherit that property, you pass away. They put it up for sale. They sell it for fair market value, which is seven hundred thousand. They get the proceeds of seven hundred thousand. They pay off the three hundred thousand balance on the reverse mortgage, and they end up keeping the remaining four hundred thousand. Okay, so that's the other misconception that we wanted to address that. Just because you get into a, re a reverse mortgage doesn't mean that you're not going to leave anything uh, to your children or your heirs or whoever you're going to leave the property. Okay, sure. Uh, it's a pretty simple example. I understand that values go up and down uh, here in California, but if we take the last, I don't know, 60, 70 years, we know there's an appreciation of about 4%. So that means in the long haul, even though there might be a dip or a couple dips, after it's uh, written out, that the value uh, uh, recovers, okay? And with all the ups and downs throughout history, there's been a net appreciation of like 4%, okay? Anyhow, uh, I hope these, this, this video has answered uh, those two misconceptions about the property, trying, the reverse mortgage trying to keep my house. They don't. Uh, and secondly, uh, that other misconception that you're not going to leave any money to your heirs if you get into a reverse mortgage. Uh, hopefully that sounds clear. Um, one other thing that I did uh, want to address um if it's 11 o'clock if the reverse mortgage uh if there's enough equity in there um you might also be able to borrow some money uh so in addition to paying off the two hundred thousand, maybe the reverse mortgage will give you three hundred thousand uh and so you pay off the two hundred thousand you keep a hundred thousand uh, for yourself, use it for paying off bills or what have you. Um, again, uh, it's not a free loan. Uh, they're going to charge you interest rate on there. But what I wanted to make with this point is that even though they, they're they giving you 200000 to pay off the existing mortgage and then 100000 cash out, you're like, well, they're only giving me a total of three hundred versus my house is worth uh, 600,000. 
Well, you know what? Uh, they can't give you all of it, okay? First of all, because they're not buying it off you. They're just lending on uh, the property value. And so generally speaking, they will only lend about 50% of your property value. So if your property is worth 500,000, the max they'll lend you is 250. If your property is valued at 600,000, the max that they'll lend you is 300,000. So anyhow, if you have any questions, please feel free to call me. My phone number is 562-881-9811. Sorry, the gardener's out there. <laughs> I apologize about that. Uh, but if you have any questions, you can go ahead and call me or text me 562-881-9811. You can also send me an email, miguel at homecentralfinancial.com. Uh, you can also uh, log on to my website, um, uh, www.reversemortgageplus.net reverse mortgage plus dot net okay thank you very much for for listening to the video also if uh you can text me or email any questions if you also want to get qualified or find out uh more about reverse mortgages please 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 let me know uh for my reverse mortgage clients i also do house calls so if you need me to go to your house or your parent's house or the client's house, I'd gladly be, be able to go over there. I work on weekends, evenings, uh, holidays. So if you need me to go over there to your house, we can set up an appointment and then I will go over there and explain everything and answer any questions that you might have. Okay, thank you very much. Have a good day and bye-bye.